Yeah, no, nothing, nothing's a problem. I yeah. just wanted to know what you were doing exactly. I didn't know if I couldn't I... walk past the police station <laughs> and not do Ben Pittian from a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, Francois, that was here, that yeah. both got done. Well, you... The problem is, there's this divide between the public and the police. Yeah. Too many officers, and you, you've only got to look at all the different YouTube channels. Yeah. There's too many officers, officers that are just full of ego. That's the way to do it. You just treat yeah. other people the way you yeah. want to be treated. So you think, so. think is that you're, you're acting like this now? Yeah. I'd hope to think that's how you act when the cameras are not oh, on you. Yeah. Welcome back to the uh, channel, everyone. I um, hope you are all well. Uh, today we are out and about in uh, Stevenage. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at uh, Stevenage uh, Police Station. Uh, weather is quite shocking uh, today, so it's unlikely uh, I'm going to be able to get the drone, uh, drone out, which is a shame. Uh, Stevenage Police Station is located in Lighton Way in an SG1 postcode. Uh, this has been audited quite a few times uh, before. Uh, PTTP has been here, Focus Pokers. Uh, AB like audits in Britain. Now, the Chief Constable for the Hertfordshire Constabulary is Charlie Hall, uh, QBC, and he has been in the role um, since October 2016. In December 2017, he has awarded the Queen's Policing Medal uh, in the Queen's um, New Year's Honours list. The Chief Inspector of Stevenage is Graham Walsingham. Now the station um, is in Stevenage Central and the top crime figures uh, for December excuse me I'm losing my, uh, losing my hat uh, for December 2023 uh, are antisocial behaviour uh, 58 uh, violence and sexual offences 55 vehicle crime 28 shoplifting in 23 and I'll uh, stitch in details of the uh, crime map. Now annoyingly the, um, the Hearts and uh, Police website is not showing any policing priorities uh, sort of for the uh, for the air area. Now I thought I'd also show the stop and search figures for Hertfordshire Constabulary uh, just in case uh, I get stop and search and you'll notice uh, that there are no stop and searches for section 43 uh, or for uh, photography. Uh, I'll also stitch in the latest most wanted list uh, for Hearts Constabulary uh, as well.
Now, if you wasn't aware, uh, David Carrick, the notorious David Carrick, uh, was actually from Stevenage, even though he was a serving uh, Met officer. Uh, and there's some uh, more uh, officers that have been done and these were based uh, here so you've got Ben Pitchin, uh, age 45 uh, he was based with the Rhodes Policing uh, Unit having problems, excuse me, having problems with my gimbal here so let me just reset <coughs> and uh, yeah he's based with the, uh, the, the Rhodes Policing Unit at Stevenage uh, Detective Constable Francois Orage for online child grooming uh, and uh, Hart the Hertfordshire Chief Constable now I'm not sure if it's the one that's in position now was accused of uh, abuse of position and I'll uh, cut in some details of that So we're at the police station. So zoom in on those. Got the police fans. So the weather is uh, pretty ghastly today, so I'm under under my, uh, my body. So it's the gate. This is where PTP had that uh, altercation with that PCO uh, that time. So we've got a police fan here. Hopefully we'll see. Some coming, uh, some vehicles coming in and out. So private car park, no public access. Hertfordshire Constabulary. So there's plenty of police, uh, police vehicles in it. So we've got scientific services unit van over there. Uh, we've got a police car about to come out. Yes. Straight away. That was Andy. And the gate shut pretty quick. He didn't uh, wait for him to shut though, but he had on uh, on blues, so it's an emergency. There's, an, there's quite a few officers actually running out, so. I don't know if something's um, happening. So it's the second vehicle coming out, and there's some officers running to a van over the back. This one's on blues as well. So that's that obviously going on. So that's two rapid response vehicles. And I did see a couple of other officers over the back running to. Uh, car as well so Let's see if we can find out what that's all about Let's see if they come uh, come out so they went to those vehicles over the back over there see them over the back there. We're just going to uh, switch to, uh, I'm on my pocket two at the moment, so um, I'm just going to switch to uh, my, uh, my zoom camera. I'll be back with you in a second. Oh. 
there's plenty of vehicles in there. I've got a stand with me uh, as well, but uh, with it being raining, I'm going to stand with the, uh, the volley. So I've got enough to, to stay with there. So it's not raining hard but it's fine rain and uh, where my wife likes to put it wet rain so you can see all the, uh, all the cars over there just zoom in some of them so there's only two uh, Officers come out on blues. Did see uh, another pair run to their car, but then they went back in. So this is the building. I'm in Stevenage all day today, so. Uh, if the, uh, the rain lets off, it's due to stop raining sometime this afternoon, so if I get a chance, I'll come back and uh, I'll stitch in the, uh, a, good, uh, a, uh, a drone flight. Okay, I'm just going to switch back the car coming in. Let's go straight out again. Oh, that's what I was waiting for over there, the, uh, the food wagon. Okay, I'm just going to switch back to uh, my uh, my other camera. Officers there getting their breakfast. So I'm just going to walk round uh, to the uh, the front office, see if I can get a copy of, uh, of Pace. Just getting their grub. Lunch, breakfast time. There's quite a few of them are uh, coming out. Interested to see if anyone come and uh, talk to me. I think they're more interested in uh, getting their sausage rolls. Do like sausage, the police, don't they? A couple of officers coming in here. Loads of them. Yeah. Time for breakfast? No, no, not yet. I've had breakfast already. Had it already, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Looks like uh, probably leave me alone, which is uh, which is good. Exactly how it, uh, it should be. So this has been audited a few times, this, uh, this station, so they've probably learnt their, uh, learnt their lesson that uh, filming in public is uh, not a crime.
catch the umbrella there. Let's go have a look over at the uh, police cars. All the number plates look okay. Seventy plates, twenty three plates. Detail on that car is not that uh, great. It's got the blood spout on that one, so it's probably an armed. You see right at the beginning there, you've got like a kind of a red star, so that'd be an armed vehicle. Or a vehicle that has armed officers in. So there's quite a few car, police cars inside. So let's go uh, go into the front desk. See if I've got one. Uh, go and there was a big puddle there. Let's just walk around. Attention officer, got the sergeants, the inquiry office just round here. Morning. Police lantern now. Got a defibrillator. It's good that I've got a defib on site. Ah, oh, so we've got the police in priorities uh, on uh, on here. It's nothing on the website. So the uh, Stevenage North, Stevenage Central, Stevenage South. So this is Stevenage South that we're in. So antisocial behaviour involving mopeds and off-road mo motorcycles. Antisocial behaviour at riders' playing fields and vulnerability supporting overturns to normality from the COVID-19 lockdown. Well, it's quite old that. So there's a picture of. Uh, Ryan Walls in them, but I would have already stitched that in and uh, Inspector Nick Redfern. And you've got the opening hours, Stevenage Police Station, so Monday to Saturday 8 to 8, Sunday 10 to 8. This front counter is also open on bank holidays. And on Christmas Day, Boxing Day and New Year's Day between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. So you got the front uh, front, there's no one in the front office, so so I'm just gonna flick this down on it. Let's have a quick look inside. Sign post. It's addiction to causing pain. Domestic violence, make sure your shed's secure. Collection property between ten and seven. Oh, hi. 
Oh, yeah. No, I'm just looking at the, uh, the, the signs here. Have you got a copy of Pace at all? Yeah. Or, or would you be able to print uh, a couple of pages for me? Oh, yeah, just so I can have a look at it, yeah? Yeah, nice. I want it, uh, I'm trying to build up my own... Um, it's a lot to print off because you've like hundreds and hundreds of pages. It's really what I want is pages like 1 to 10. Yeah, if you could print, print them off, that'd be great. Yeah, okay, lovely. Cheers, thank you. So this station was opened on Monday the 9th of July 2009 by a chair of the Hertfordshire Police Authority, Stuart Naylor. I'll try and find a photo of him. Stitch that in. Live's not... Live's not nice. Have they got an amnesty? Okay. Lovely, page one to ten, yeah? Brilliant. Oh, I love it. It's all online. Sorry? It's all online if you need to look at yeah, it. Uh, yeah, so what I'm trying to do is build up a file, but uh, I haven't got a printer, so. Okay, but he's yeah. printed that off for you. Lovely, thank you very much. I just appreciate that. One quick question. You've got the, um, the sign up there about knife crime, but you haven't got an amnesty box in here. Is there not a knife amnesty in, uh, in no, Stevenage? I mean, people can hand knives in any time. Yeah. We have specific amnesties a couple of times a year. Oh, right, okay. And that's when the bin goes out. Take them from them, yeah. Okay, lovely. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, that's a uh, right positive uh, experience from here. So I'm just going to stick this in my bag. So I'll be just going to switch this camera off for uh, a second. Okay, back with you on my uh, main uh, main camera now. I keep losing my hat. Looks like the, uh, the rain's. Uh, Still running a little bit, so I'm not going to be able to get my drone up at the uh, at the moment. So I'll probably come back a bit later. But that was that was really good. That uh, in there, not uh, bothered at all. Asked if I needed any help. Asked for a copy of Pace. Uh, didn't have one at the front desk, but she printed off um, sort of ten, the first ten pages for me. So when I go into police stations, I'm going to be asking for. So the next police station I go into, I'll be asking for pages. Uh, 11 to 20 and gradually uh, build up my own copy of Pace uh, that way and just see how I, uh, how I get on but uh, yeah I've got to say Stevenage Police Station that's pretty much a pass to be fair so but it has been audited a couple of times so AB, AB's been here a couple of times PTTP um, Focus Pocus was actually down by the roundabout I believe and flew the drone it is all cornered off let's see if I can I'm sure it's focus post so I'll, I'll try and find a video and I'll just cut a link in um, into that and uh, I'll cut a link into PTP's video as well when he's with the uh, the PCSO that was uh, pretty un, uh, unprofessional okay guys so if you um, if you like that video please give it a thumbs up please give it a like please give it a share and uh, as always, uh, if you could uh, be so kind of subscribe to the channel or if you're, if you're not uh, subscribed already, it doesn't cost anything, only takes a second. And uh, hit the not notification bell so you get notified when I release any more uh, content. So, as always, have a fantastic day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Okay guys, I'm uh, back at uh, Stevenage Police Station. Uh, it's not raining now. Uh, when I did the video this morning, I said I'd come back if it's not raining and do uh, get the drone up. So I uh, didn't get really any reaction uh, from them this morning. Um, the uh, counter staff gave me a printout of a part of Pace, pages 1 to 10, uh, which uh, knocked me off my feet. So I'm just going to let them know. I was here this morning, I'm back now and I'm just going to fly the drone so no dramas
Sunny very uh, quick one. I was here um, this morning, and uh, one of your colleagues gave me some printouts of uh, Pace, which was uh, which was great. Um, but it's pouring down a rain when I was here this morning filming, so I'm just coming in to let you know. Uh, I'm going to put my drone up now, and that's not right. Okay, um, yeah, you're one of the auditors, are you? Uh, well, I don't... Well, they class as well, yeah, so yeah. that's so, fine, so... Yeah, I just wanted to let you know, so if anyone did want to come and talk to me, because once the drone's up, I won't talk to anyone, because... Yeah, yeah, okay, nice one, cheers, thanks a lot, cheers. I don't know where it is, I'll come over there. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I think this station's uh, been uh, audited to death. <laughs> uh, I think it's probably been one or two, one or two too many uh, civil claims coming in here. Uh, that's probably more like it. So, is what I want to do. I want to uh, stick the drone up, tell them what I'm doing. I uh, said so if anyone does come and talk to me, I won't talk to them. And uh, just get some shots of the cars at the back. Shot the building. And uh, that'll be pretty much it for the day. I've done uh, pretty much everything I wanted to video today, except for one place, which was uh, Stevenage Football Ground. But I've got a train that I've uh, I've got to get, so I've got time to get this in, and then I'll uh, I'll be on my merry way. So it's time to get uh, to get Beverly up to quickly drone assist to show you that there's. Uh, there's no flight restrictions in this area. Okay guys, as you can see I'm in Stevenage there, there's the blue dot, there's no flight restrictions anywhere around here and I'm just by uh, the police station just say it doesn't come up the police station actually but I just decided so I'm in the CTR but the CTR is because of it's the um, railway track and, and the police station uh, but as you know our flight our size drone doesn't affect a uh, CTR so got that on camera Quickly get the drone, be a quick flight because I'm quite low on battery. I'm not going to go that high, it's quite windy. There's a few vehicles there. Well, I check right next door. Good line of sight of it. Just gonna keep it quite low. You can see loads and loads and loads of police vehicles. Why aren't they out patrolling? Getting people speeding. It's all in here. <laughs> Is it because there's not enough officers? Is it a shift change? I don't think so, because when I was here this morning, the same amount of cars were here. So as you can see, just turn that back on me. I'm just over there by the gate. You've got a good line, excellent line of sight. It's a little bit. It is a bit windy. Got a little courtyard in the middle. There's the other police, part of the police building now. So I'm not going to go all the way around, I just wanted to get the cars. But they had no issues with me uh, filming at all. Let's see what it's like in the area. It's a train station, train going in. The retail park over there. Loads of other industrial estates and businesses to to do that's where I was filming today over there. It's the uh, the wine uh, the wine club. 
So that's the estate that I was uh, on. There's loads more to do in this area. So, let's bring Beverly back. Very quick flight. Let's get the station in one shot. Let's back a bit. So, Stevenage Police Station from above. Okay, got an uh, officer approached me now. I was actually packing all my equipment away. He started talking to me, so I actually said, "Can you go away? Come back." <laughs> yeah, no, so, it's yeah, not so about. yeah, yeah. I was yeah, wondering so. what he was doing. Is all on a piece of paper from Stephen to Police Station. Phone numbers one five eight five. Yeah. I, I was just curious as to what was going right. on. Is all. Stop you there. Yeah, okay. But right, there's one thing you've missed. Yeah. You've, you've been perfect, but there's one bit you've missed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mentioned that initially before I came. Oh, back. did you? Oh, no, yeah. it's not in the film. I, I, oh, didn't, well, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, I didn't hear. Yeah, oh, so. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I made so. sure to get that on anyways. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah no, uh, nothing, nothing's a problem. I just yeah. wanted to know what you was doing exactly. I didn't know if like news reporters had showed up or something. So. No, not a news reporter. Oh, fair enough. No. Well, you can, you can do citizen journalist uh, more than anything else. Oh, you're so. more than citizen journalist. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. So, like, like an auditor kind of. Uh. Yeah, it could put us under that, that sort of bracket, really, but yeah. as what I prefer to uh, be classed as is a photographer. A photographer, yeah, that's, no that's, that's exercising that's his rights. Yeah, okay. So that's, yeah, that's, that's more of a, an accurate yeah. no, uh, position. I just wanted to know what you was doing, how Was you, you was, was you in the car that went through? Yeah, so I, yeah, I, I just see saw you, yeah. you, and basically yeah. I, had to just, I wanted to make sure everything was all right, basically, and yeah, just wondering right. what was going on, just, yeah. just for everyone's sake really but yeah no so you packing up and then that's all good yeah uh, yeah well i was actually here uh this morning oh yeah uh, but it was absolutely chucking it down with rain well, oh, God, so i yeah. couldn't uh, i couldn't do the uh, the drone flight so yeah, I, that's I, fair I, I thought i'd come back to be a bit more sunny it's yeah we'll just stop just for it to stop raining really uh yeah, so so have you done it with other police stations or is this like the only one that you've done it to so far I, uh, look, i'm happy to have a conversation uh with you because you've approached me in the right uh, in yeah, the right way because normally i just don't give out any information whatsoever yeah uh, I don't really do police stations, to be to be fair. Uh, it's the yeah. first time I've ever been to Stevenage. Is it? Uh, I'm generally an industrial state YouTuber. Really? Oh, okay. But I couldn't enough. walk past the police station <laughs> and not do yeah, it not while I'm on my way to thingy. A bit of sightseeing almost. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to see what your approach was to... Yeah, of course. Um, and, and the station's approach to yeah. someone filming. Yeah. And to be honest with you, it's been pretty good. Um, yeah, this morning I even went in and asked for you to, you know, the front desk to print me out a few pages, pages of pace. Oh, a few pages of pace? Okay. Yeah, fair done. Enough. They did it. Yeah, no, fair you enough. Know, we'll uh, see the reason why they wouldn't. Yeah, no, well, quite, quite often is what you find uh, when it's asked at the front desk. Yeah. They haven't got it. Oh, they're not? Yeah, and it's actually a legal requirement, that yeah, uh, no, section 1.1. Yeah. Off, uh, I think it's 1.1.1 1. 1. 1 of pace. Oh, so you've really brushed up on it. Then, oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, no pace. Fair enough. Yeah, I probably know more about pace than you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair. So, um, yeah, how, how long are you planning on being out here for? It's just so I know, I'm, just so I can inform other people and I'm, let them know. Just I'm so packing, it stops other people constantly trying to approach I'd, you. I don't mind. I don't mind being approached. Oh, fair enough. It gives me, uh, gives me content. <laughs> Fair enough. So, do you do it with like uh, YouTube, that kind of thing, or uh, I've got uh, various different channels, so it's all, all over social media. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. You know. well, what's your YouTube name actually? Do you, do you mind if I Google it? Or uh, no, I'm, I'm not giving that out. I will Fair get enough, absolutely then. crucified online you... if I gave you my. Uh, uh, no uh, it's my just YouTube more name. professional curiosity than anything. You, you, you'll come across it because I've got an absolutely amazing thumbnail. <laughs> Obviously, so, you know. <laughs> But you know, look, when, right, when, when, when you when you say it is what I do. I give a positive light, a negative light. It's a kind of a documentary. Oh, right. So when when I turned up here this morning, yeah, uh, I explained uh, a bit about the station, who the chief constable is, who oh, the yeah. who the inspectors uh, are. Yeah. Um, I went into who the most wanted are that you're looking for. Yeah. Uh, but if I'm going to do most wanted, I'm also going to do the bad side. So I mentioned obviously. 
Ben Pitian from a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, Francois, that was here, that yeah. both got done. Well, if you're looking at it from solely a documentary point of view, you want to cover everything. Yeah, so I've covered, you covered, all, covered yeah. both angles. And, no, some, and, some, and to be honest with you, it's been a, it's been a pass, yeah. uh, this, this station. Oh, uh, I've been to other stations and yeah. they haven't been so nice. No, that's fair, but so, um, listen, you, know, you just treat everyone else the way you want to be treated, that's the way I see yeah, it. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. No need to come up, up here if you start off yeah. down. Well, if you'd have come at me giving me grief, you'd have got it back straight away. Yeah, no, of course. Okay. You know, and you I'd, don't and come I, at people with grief, yeah, not unless I, if you absolutely need to. Yeah. You, you just speak to other people like how you want to be spoken to. Yeah, no, 100%. So, yeah. 100%. No, you, you, you're spot on. No, I might be shaking your hand. We're not in the scouts. <laughs> yeah, I might be shaking your hand. There's no, uh, no problem with that. Yeah, no worries. Uh, well done, because, you know, the, yeah. the, the, the problem is there's this divide between the public and the police yeah. at the moment, and, you, and doing what you're doing now helps build that bridge oh, yeah, exactly. uh, uh, between it. And unfortunately, there's too many officers, and you, you've only got to look at all the different YouTube channels. Yeah. There's too many officers, officers that are just full of ego. The, the way I see it, you just treat people with kindness, yeah. you're more likely to get treated with kindness back. Yeah. That's yeah. just the way to do it. You just treat yeah. other people the way you yeah. want to be treated. So you think, so. think is that you're, you're acting like this now, Yeah. I'd hope to think that's how you act when the cameras are not oh, on you. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Well, I always switch this camera on anyways whenever yeah. I'm out dealing with something. Yeah, and what, yeah. I, I actually, because yeah. I was packing away and I didn't actually hear you uh, when you, when you oh, approached. Yeah. So you said that and you, and you got to. It's a part of... Yeah. You know the policing policy. It's it's on the home office website. It's oh, yeah, the directors exactly. from the home office. It's in, yeah, it's from the College of Policing. It's from the um, APCC from 2012. It's from yeah. um, the N. Um, oh, I say it. <laughs> uh, the N, uh, National uh, Chief Police Federation. Yeah. It's on there that say, you know, when you approach an auditors or anyone, put your, you know, and say oh, what yeah. it is. And College of Policing says. You know the extra, exact what the steps that you're supposed to, to take. If you're yeah. going hands on, I don't expect to say, "Oh, by the way, I'm filming," because yeah. you're going hands on. But yeah, uh, but if you if you're just practice to really, yeah, isn't you, it? yeah, yeah. And any of any member any member of the public that approaches you, uh, by the way, yeah. I'm filming. Yeah, no, exactly. You know, you, you know another reason why for that is as well, don't you? Well, so other people are aware that they're being recorded, and so then if it also goes to court as well, not just that, it's GDPR. Yeah. You're you're a data uh, data handler, data controller. Yeah, it's I'm the data right. subject. Yeah. Any members of the public, just because I can see it and the light flashing and, and whatever, yeah. need to know that that, 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 that they can get access to that. Oh yeah. Um, you know, and you know, and and also say that it's available for the next 28 days. Yeah. Because uh, look, you know, when I have seen cancer, and I didn't hear you say that uh, that it's available for the next 28 days. Because if I apply for that in in 29 days, that will be deleted off your system. Yeah. Unless there's, you know, you're keeping it for evidential purposes. Oh yeah, you tend to save body worn if you need it for evidential. Purposes. Yeah, yeah, but it does. It's when you when you upload it, it stays there for 28 days. Yeah, no, exactly. So. But yeah, no, I just want to make sure everything's all right. Yeah, everything's it seems fine. to be all good for me. Yeah, um, I'll leave you to it. It's just enough officers don't keep on. I'm only going to uh, literally. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going. What you're doing here? I'm, so. I'm, I'm I'm packing away and I'm just about to uh, oh, head off home. So nice to meet you. Yeah, 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 yeah thank you very much. Cheers. Okay, guys, it's a nice uh, bonus uh, there, so police constable come out. Let's hope that all constables uh, are like that. Do you want to have a chat? No, nah. <laughs> are you an officer? No, nah, no, nah, all right. All right, so, um, yeah, so if you like that video, guys, I think it's the third time I've said that. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.